£37 million man has one more preseason to prove he belongs at Manchester United as contract decision looms. Man United begin their preseason campaign in Norway on Monday night, and it's a big few weeks for a winger with designs on breaking into the team. As the summer transfer window cranks into gear, the new sporting structure at Manchester United are focused on incomings. It's been a busy start to the window for the key figures in recruitment, as they try and give Eric Ten Hag a squad that can mount a better challenge next season. But sporting director Dan Ashworth and technical director Jason Wilcox will have one eye on squad management as well. Departures are essential this summer to fund a strong window, but United also find themselves in the unusual position of having 10 players out of contract next summer. That list doesn't include Donny van de Beek and Mason Greenwood, whose deals are up then but are close to finalizing permanent exits in this window. Victor Lindelof is another who looks likely to be sold this summer, rendering a contract decision null and void. There are others whose futures could come into question as the window progresses. Aaron Juan Bissaka and Scott McTominay will attract interest, as will the younger duo of Hannibal and Facundo Palistri. Christian Eriksen has just a year left, as does Harry Maguire, although there is the option to extend that by a further year. There will be no concern around Tom Heaton, who has signed that one-year extension, but there will be a desire to agree a new deal with Willie Cambuala, who made 10 appearances in something of a breakthrough campaign last season. But perhaps the most interesting figure with the clock ticking is Ahmad, who is now three and a half years into a four and a half year he penned when signing from Atalanta for 37 million pound. It's not been a smooth journey for the winger, who turned 22 on Thursday, and he has made just six starts for the club since his January 2021 arrival. Three of those came in the final three Premier League games of last season, and having looked like a near certainty to be sold at the start of May, his performances against Arsenal, Newcastle and Brighton might have changed the thinking. Against Newcastle in particular, he displayed the kind of quality that suggests he might yet have a future at the club. The Ivory Coast International offers a goal threat from out wide and is a neat and elusive dribbler. In those three appearances, he looked an upgrade on Antony, who was dropped for the final four games of the season. Those displays may have convinced Eric Ten Hag to give him another season. Ten Hag has been a ruthless seller of academy prospects in this age range, and it looked like a mad was following that path until finally forcing his way into the team. Having had a summer without international football, he returned to Carrington on Monday and is set to get his first minutes of preseason in Trondheim on Monday when United take on Rosenborg. It could be the start of a big few weeks for Ahmad. United do have the option to take an extra year in his contract, a course of action likely if the plan is to sell him on, either later in this window in January or next summer. But if he shines this summer, cementing his status ahead of Antony, then maybe a new contract and a longer stay could be in the offing. So there is plenty for Ahmad to play for in the run of friendlies this summer. He certainly hasn't totally convinced so far. He had a bright start to his Old Trafford career, then had an injury setback and a difficult loan spell at Rangers. A superb year at Sunderland in 2022-23 looked to be a kickstart, but last summer he got an injury against Arsenal in New York and then had to wait for Ten Hag to finally hand him a chance. Having now turned 22, it is time to deliver on the potential that led to United paying such a substantial fee for a teenager with so little first-team experience behind him. His career has still only bought him 40 senior starts at United, Rangers and Sunderland. That has to change. A big summer can lead to a positive season, even with competition for places in attack likely to increase. Ahmad has to make the most of this opportunity. As the new season approaches, pressure mounts on the $37 million signing to prove he belongs at Manchester United. With his contract decision looming, this preseason represents a crucial opportunity for him to showcase his talent and reaffirm his place in the squad. After an inconsistent previous season, the player has been working diligently during training sessions, determined to impress Eric Ten Hag and the coaching staff. 
Fans have been hopeful, recalling flashes of brilliance that justified his hefty price tag, but consistency remains key. Ten Hag has expressed his commitment to giving all players a fair chance during preseason matches. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, as for turning to elsewhere. In the meantime, moving on. Eric Ten Hag confirms reason number two. Mitchell van der Gogh has immediately left Man United. Mitchell van der Gogh followed Eric Ten Hag from Ajax to Manchester United in 2022, but the assistant coach has now departed Old Trafford to pursue his career ambitions. Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that right-hand man Mitchell van der Gogh has left Manchester United in order to become a first-team manager himself. Van der Gogh was Ten Hag's trusted assistant at Ajax, and the pair both made the move to Old Trafford in May 2022. The 52-year-old coach helped United win a trophy in each of his two seasons, but won't continue in his role for the upcoming campaign. That's allowed Ten Hag's good friend and the former manager of Eredivisie side go-ahead Eagles, René Haake, to join the Dutchman's coaching setup alongside compatriot Ruud van Nistelrooy, who's been brought in to replace outgoing forward coach Benny McCarthy. In a statement announcing the pair's arrivals, Ten Hag paid tribute to van der Gogh and McCarthy. Mitchell has decided that now is the right time for him to pursue his own ambitions in a number one position. The United boss, who was recently handed a one-year contract extension, remarked, I want to pay tribute to his fantastic service over the past two years. Also to Benny for his important contributions. We send them our thanks and best wishes for the future. Steve McLaren and Darren Fletcher will remain part of Ten Hag's backroom staff, now joined by Haik and Van Nistelrooy. Hake helped go-ahead Eagles to their best league finish in 15 years last season, and they'll even take part in the Conference League playoffs later this summer. Van Nistelrooy, meanwhile, spent five years at Old Trafford, scoring 150 goals in only 219 appearances and winning the Premier League title in 2003 under Sir Alex Ferguson. The ex-striker managed PSV Eindhoven in the 2022-23, winning the Dutch Cup, and was in talks to take the Burnley job before United's successful pursuit. I am delighted that René and Rude have agreed to join our project, adding a wealth of experience, knowledge, and new energy to the staff, Ten Hag said of their appointments. Now is a good time to refresh the coaching team as we look to build on the achievements of the past two years and push to the next level. The Red Devils' newly appointed sporting director, Dan Ashworth, also said, Together with Eric, we are working to strengthen all areas of our men's first team operations, and refreshing the coaching staff is an important part of that. It's a particular pleasure to welcome Rude back to the club where he enjoyed so much success as a player, and I know that he and Rene will help reinforce the winning mentality and high standards we are aiming for. Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that the departure of Mitchell van der Gogh from Manchester United was due to personal reasons. The assistant coach, who played a significant role in the team's strategies and development, decided to step away to focus on family matters. In a recent press conference, Ten Hag expressed his understanding and support for van der Gogh's decision, highlighting the importance of prioritizing personal well-being. Mitchell has been an integral part of our journey, and while we will miss his tactical insights and dedication, we respect his need to take this time for himself and his family, Ten Hag stated. Van der Gogh's departure comes at a crucial point in the season, as the team prepares for several important matches. Ten Hag assured fans that the coaching staff would adapt and continue to push forward, emphasizing the resilience and unity of the squad. As Manchester United navigates this transition, Ten Hag is already exploring potential candidates to fill the void left by van der Gogh, ensuring that the team remains competitive as they aim for success in both domestic and European competitions. Fans are left hopeful that the team can rally together and honor van der Gogh's contributions as they move forward in the season. Mitchell van der Gogh, who made the transition to Manchester United alongside Eric Ten Hag in 2022 from Ajax, has officially departed Old Trafford to pursue his career ambitions.
His decision marks a significant moment for the coaching staff as the team navigates a pivotal stage in the season. During his time at United, Van der Gogh played a crucial role in implementing Ten Hag's vision and strategies, contributing to the team's development and tactical evolution. His expertise in defense and player development was instrumental in guiding the squad through both domestic and European challenges. In a statement, Ten Hag expressed gratitude for Van der Gogh's contributions, saying, Mitchell has been a key part of our journey, and while we will miss his insight and dedication, we support his decision to pursue new opportunities.